likely to eat 150 million hot dogs this 4th of July mm -hmm. holiday. And if you plan to it. cook out today, they're likely part of your menu as well as burgers and other grilling items. We have Chef Brent Hale from Big Sexy Food with us this morning to talk about ways to dress up your 4th of July meals. And we've got some delicious yeah. items here. Um, if you want to talk a little bit Man. about them, I know that this is... So not normal. It's not what you expect for a na well, for a burger sure. or a hamburger that you would normally see. Yeah, absolutely. You know that, and that's kind of what I try to do is is the is the abnormal, if you will. Right. And so you know you got a holiday. You do a good you job at it, Brent. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> not only in food, right, Rick? Thanks, absolutely. appreciate that. So yeah, not only you know when it's a holiday, that's the time that, you know to, to to pull out all the stops and really just go to yeah. town. And and you know that's one of the coolest things about America. What we're kind of showcasing here is is the diversity, right? So we've got yeah. an Italian type deal. We've got some that wrapped in tortilla. We've got a, a, a little bit of an Asian spin, and Look at that. yeah. So I mean, we've you know we've done you know gone all over. And so this one we've we've got uh, mac and cheese, the hot dog inside there, a little bit of bacon and pork oh rinds, my gosh. and then wrapped in more bacon. So <laughs> and then our pizza burgers topped with uh, uh, bacon. That's you can top that with pepperoni, or if you're a vegetarian, go vegetarian on that pizza. Mm -hmm. This is a cool one for kids. Um, you know that say I like a plain burger mm -hmm. um, because then they can put that pizza on top, flip it over, and they're all set. Yeah. yeah. How can people make these items at home if they're they can't if they're wanting? <laughs> this is from Big Sexy, so yes. that you know, you, how can you match this? <laughs> no, you know, these are all so simple to do at home, and and the one on the far end is probably my favorite. And, and as a kid, that was one that I did. You know, mom would make this? all this stuff, yeah. And so we'd have burgers, we'd have yeah. chips, we'd have hot dogs, and we'd have yeah. baked beans. Yeah. And even as a kid, man, I just threw all that stuff together. So oh, you know, I something like this, this is not even something you got to make at home. You just kind of look at what you got sitting out and, and throw it all mm -hmm. together, but. But, uh, you know, the, the idea is let your imagination go wild and, and, and have some fun with the food. Yeah. Um, you know, they used to make the, uh, the this is a complaint of mine, actually. Uh, they used to make the old uh, Oscar Mayer hot dogs, you know, the old beef hot dogs. Yeah. They changed their, their menu. What would you consider to be probably the best hot dog for grilling or boiling or whatever? Yeah, I do like a nice all beef hot dog, a Hebrew national hot dog or a Nathan's hot dog I think are the best. They're usually, yeah. you know, a bun length kind of deal and so I think gotcha. you get the best flavor from them. Yeah. They're not too thick so that, you know, the, the, the your hot dog to bun ratio, if you will, yeah. right. uh, yeah. tends to work out better. So those uh, are probably my two favorites. Yeah. All right. Just curious about that. Uh, so stay away from the dollar hot dogs or 59 cent hot dogs. That's what. You know, there, there is nothing not wrong really with a cheap hot dog, Eric. Don't don't get me wrong. I can throw down on some cheap hot dogs, but when I'm looking at a holiday meal, I'm probably going to go ahead and splurge a little bit. Absolutely. Gotcha. And you can splurge on these items and make them at home if you want. Be sure to send us your pictures if you try to make these items at home. We'd love to see what you're grilling today. Brent, thank you yeah, so absolutely. much thank for joining us this morning. Let's watch for breakfast. <laughs>